Hello and welcome to Hear Tutoring. In this video series, we're going to talk about pronouncing vowels. For this video, we're going to focus on the different ways to pronounce the vowel A in words, specifically when the vowel A is by itself and not when the A is connected to other vowels, which we'll focus on in other videos. For English language learners, it can be difficult to pronounce all of the different sounds that the different vowels can make, so we're going to try to explain some of the most basic rules here. Although, for the English language, it seems that for every rule we have, there is an exception. Sorry about that. All we can do here is do our best and provide some examples. So now, let's start going through the different sounds that the vowel A can make in different words. There are four main sounds that the vowel A might have in words when it's not joined to any other vowels. A, 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 and A. So first, the letter A can sound like A in a word. Here are three rules for when the vowel A will sound like A. Rule number one. Usually, when the vowel A is followed by a consonant and then by the vowel E, it will sound like A. Examples of words with this rule are cake, make, sane, bane, male, stale, fade, and bade. As you can see, in each of these words, the vowel A is followed by a consonant and then by the letter E. Now, practice saying these words yourself by repeating after me. Cake. Make. Sane. Bane. Male. Stale. Fade. Fade. Now here's the second rule for when the vowel A will sound like A. When the vowel A has one consonant before it and two R's after it, it will sound like A. Examples of words with this rule are Mary, Carrie, Terry, and Larry, which is a name. Now try saying these words yourself. Mary, Carrie, Terry, Larry. Now, some examples of longer words where the vowel A sounds like A that have these rules are animate, barricade, and salesman. In each of these words, notice that one of the A's sounds like A because it is followed by a consonant and then by the letter E. Also, in the word barricade, notice that the first A has one consonant before it and two R's after it, which is our second rule. Now, here's the third rule for when the vowel A will sound like A. When the vowel A is followed by a consonant and then by the letters LE or LES, it will have the sound A. Examples of words with this rule are table, tables, cable, cables, ladle, ladles, staple, and staples. Now, practice saying these words by repeating them after me. Table, tables, cable, cables, ladle, ladles, staple, staples. Next, another sound that the word A can have in a word is A. Here are three rules for when the vowel A will sound like A. Rule number one, usually when the vowel A just has one consonant after it, it will have the sound A. Examples of words with this rule are ban, can, fad, bad, sad, drab, cat, bat, toucan, and Pakistan. As you can see, each of these words has an A that just has one consonant after it. Now, practice saying these words yourself by repeating them after me. Ban, can, fad, bad, sad, drab, cat, bat, toucan, Pakistan. Now, here's the second rule for when the vowel A will sound like A. The vowel A will sound like A when it is at the beginning of a word and the accent or stress is placed upon this first letter. Examples of words with this rule are am, alligator, animal, after, ant, and advertisement. Obviously, am only has one syllable, so the accent is placed upon the A. We would say alligator and not alligator or alligator. 
we would say animal and not animal. We would say after and not after. Ant also only has one syllable. And we would say advertisement and not advertisement or something like that. Now, practice saying these words yourself by repeating them after me. Am. Alligator. Animal. After. Ant. Advertisement. Now, here's the third rule for when the vowel A will sound like A. Ah. Usually, when the vowel A is in the middle of a word and the accent or stress is placed upon it, and it doesn't follow the double R or the consonant plus LE or LES rule above, it will sound like A. Ah. Sorry, this rule isn't very clear, but like I said, there are just too many exceptions and complexities within the English language. Examples of words with this rule are attack, mast, canter, satchel, and cadaver, which is basically a dead body. Now, practice saying these words by repeating them after me. Attack, mast, canter, satchel, cadaver. Next, another sound that the vowel A can have in a word is uh. Here are two rules for when the letter A will sound like uh. Rule number one, if the vowel A begins a word and it is not accented or stressed, it will have the sound uh. Examples of words with this rule are amass, a lot, attack, accounting, and affix. Now, practice saying these words out loud by repeating them after me. Amass, a lot, attack, accounting, affix. Now, here's the second rule for when the letter A will sound like uh in a word. The vowel A will sound like uh when it is in the middle of a word and the accent or stress is not placed upon it. Examples of words with this rule are cadaver, cadet, maneuver, and fatigue. Now, practice saying these words out loud by repeating them after me. Cadaver, cadet, maneuver, fatigue. Finally, the fourth main sound that the vowel A can have in a word is aw. This is just one major rule for when the letter A will sound like aw in a word. The vowel A will sound like aw when it is in the middle of a word and there is a W immediately after it. Examples of words with this rule are lawn, yawn, dawn, maw, and saw. Now practice saying these words out loud by repeating them after me. Lawn, yawn, maw, saw. Okay, so we're going to stop here with the rules and examples for how to pronounce the letter A when it is by itself in a word. As you can see and probably know, one reason why the English language is so difficult is because there are just so many different rules and exceptions for everything. For example, what category does the word what fit into? The accent or stress is on the A, but the sound is what, not what. Also, why then do we say wham? Hopefully you found this video helpful, although I'm sorry I can't give you the definite answers and rules for exactly how to pronounce the letter A in every possible situation. In the next video, we're going to proceed to talk about the vowel E. If you like these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.